is my jacket potatoes with right. a, a classic ragu. So, Chef, are you ready? No. <laughs> well, no, of course, yes, yes. Right, okay. tell you how much you do yeah, yeah, this I'm not, worry about this chopping all morning. <laughs> I've done a bit of prep work for you already. <laughs> Thank you. The base for a great ragu, um, we're going to use vegetables in there. A great way of hiding vegetables into a children's diet as yeah, well. You know, kids yeah. can be fussy, my little girl can be. Yeah. Okay, so if you grab some carrot, I'd like you to just chop it yeah. into a nice, fine dice yeah. and with the celery. Okay, While right you're doing that, let's talk about the good old jacket spud. Nothing new there, you think, but it is that time of year as well brilliant to use okay all we do is grab yourself a potato use a fork and we're just going to pierce the skin this stops them from basically blowing up in the oven or popping on you you right. don't want sure. that okay yep. now i like them with a, a crispy crust i don't know about you guys but um all we do is a touch of oil goes onto the potatoes preheat the oven to 200 degrees a pinch just a pinch of salt and in the oven they go one hour 15 minutes okay Perfect. okay that sounds right. good so how's, there the, go. how's the chopping going the chopping's going fine it's thank good. you no, you're the less you me. talk about the chopping the more i'm sure i'll just might, might be able to manage it quite right. well, we'll just no, i think that that's looking that's good Right, okay, it? right. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take some onion into a hot pan with a touch of garlic. Should I put the carrots in there? You, if you could put them all there, that's right. You took come, on, come on, Chef. Crack yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> in with Mr. Clegg's wonderful carrots. There you, yep. go. There you go. Excellent. Another one goes in there as well. A uh, knob of butter goes in. We put that in after because obviously if it was in before, the butter, fats and solids would burn on us, OK? So oil first. OK, right, when you're ready, yes, you, put the rest of, you put the rest of your celery in there as well. And okay? it'll be gorgeous. And that'll be looking good. So you cook out the vegetables, mm -hmm. get that flavour in, a root veg this time of year, fantastic. Chop it straight um, in. In that goes, Chef. Thank Excellent. you very much. Right, now, here, mince. Goes a long way, great on price. I'm doing classic style, I've got beef and lamb. You can, obviously, you can use what you want, whichever yeah. mince you prefer. You want to make sure you basically take away the pinkish colour, which should take realistically around five minutes okay, okay. to cook through. And uh, we're just going to give it all a good mix up. Okay, Nick, in the meantime, yep. you're going to use the finishing element of this, which is going to be grated cheese. I've got some mm -hmm. red Leicester there, so let's clear your board off. Okay. Yep. And if you want to get grey in, that'd be fantastic. How, um, which, um, on the biggest one, The biggest please. one, yeah. The biggest one, so that's good. Right. Watch your fingers, for goodness sake. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what, though? I mean, you did, when you introduced this, you got a bit of stick because people said, oh, you know, the money shouldn't be used by schools yeah. for food, it should be used for other things like school books and what have you. But it surely, as you said, you know, you, you, kids need to be... Well, I mean, the first thing on the money thing, remember that there are, there are you know, lots of mums and dads who are, sp who are paying a, uh, over £400 per son or daughter where they have to cover the lunch, the lunch costs. So, you know, that's... You, there are quite a lot of families who've got two children, little children, the first few years of primary school. Yeah. So you're saving those families who are having to pay the bills and the rest of it every week, you're saving them £900 a year. So it saves families mm. money. But the, but the thing is, this was, this was tried out in a number of schools in Wolverhampton, in the North East, in, you know, in Durham, in Newham, in London, over a, over a period of time. And the, the results were dramatic. It showed that, that giving a child a healthy meal at lunchtime has a bigger effect on their ability to do well in English and maths than many other kind of, many, yeah. many kind of initiatives. And I, I just think... No, I remember that. I remember Jimmy Oliver did that, that brilliant yes. campaign. Yeah, yeah. And he found exactly he, the same. Yeah. They had a class where they had a great lunch. You know, really, um, you know we're talking about something like this, yeah. something that you're doing there, something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And the attention span was yeah. much, much better. They, you know, they, they, were, they performed better in, in exams. So, yeah, yeah. it makes sense. It no, makes it, sense. It, it, I, th I think every parent I mean, intuitively knows that of it makes, makes sense. Yeah. And, and you, you know, in a sense, you don't need experts to tell you mm. that if you don't feed a child well they're no. not going to be able to do well at school and also getting people we've banged on about this as well haven't we james about actually getting people to be taught cooking in school oh, yeah very yep. important I mean, it's like, and that's not happening it's, like that's the not basics. it's a life yeah. skill yeah. something like that is a life skill skill excuse me you take it with you through life and you can pass it on to the next generation yeah. really yeah. really important and just yeah. quickly but what did you say about passing on the generation mm -hmm. i mean that, that, I, I know i mean miriam will tell you will tell you in spain you know Parents will listen to what their parents tell and the grandparents have told them about yeah. and that things get passed on. I'm sorry, Nick, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I just I right. carry on to do something to stop. Is that too much? Nick, there's four of us. Mate, you know? <laughs> anyway, fine. just just quickly. You're not cheesy. Can, More is good. I think we'll be off for cheese. Like if that. I can just quickly refer to this. Of course, that's okay. Fine. Right. So I put in a touch of chili flake, dash of Worcestershire sauce in there. Nice flavour. Get, get the different spice in there. Um, the secret weapon: touch of tomato ketchup. Believe it or not, right, okay. brings out a great flavour. Mm -hmm. You can add wine. It is a ragu. It is optional. If you boil it, it evaporates the alcohol. Right. So you you're finish not it. Have you, your kids boozing. Exactly. Okay. You finish it off with some tomato. Tomatoes. You leave it to cook through for around 15 minutes. Obviously, in true style, got one done. Nick, another job for you. Could you get some basil? 
which yeah, is the yeah. lovely thing, yeah. the herb at yeah. the end. <laughs> Nick, yeah, that what? one. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. I need to be told that as well. Right, and if you grab do you want? a good handful and start ripping it into here. Now, look at the difference. We've cooked it's the nothing. two off. This one I've just put back onto the heat. Rip it all in there, and we're going to mm. stir that in. I've got my potatoes pre-done. It's very clever. And it takes about 15 minutes Ooh. to cook for Remember, look at the amounts. The recipe is obviously on the website. However, yes. you can use this in different ways. Sure. You could turn it into a bolognese, a lasagna, Crushed all kinds of different things mm -hmm. like that. Have so here's our spuds. They're nice. Nice and, they're nice and crispy. Yes. And um, Nick, that's looking great. I'm going to stir that in. Too much? No, 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 it's good. That's good. <laughs> OK, you can, you can walk away now. <laughs> all right. Looking good. I right. follow my instructions closely. No, look, you're you're going to finish you're it good off good for me, ready? Lovely. So I'm going to add a good pile because we're going to share sure, this out. That looks fantastic. And if you are going out for bonfire exactly night, that. you'll yeah. be safe. But it's a great bonfire really night. Indeed. 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 Now, Miriam said that cooking probably wasn't one of your huge strengths. Miriam, do you want to come and have a go at this? Because I think you might like this. Yeah. And, and I have come to on. say, sprinkle, sprinkle. the cheese was done so well. 